and today I'm going to be talking about the account Google Ads account structure what it is and what how it is laid out and how you can set up a solid structure so that you have a strong foundation so just like when you are trying to um, or someone is trying to build a building or a house uh, we need to lay down a strong foundation because if you don't have a strong foundation and you keep on building on top the whole thing is going to collapse and this pretty much happens with Google Ads as well so we begin with the topmost level is your account level then under that is your campaigns so you can have one or you can have multiple campaign it really doesn't matter but in between that at account level you also have your billing um, your account access to either yourself or to multiple uh, users extensions now this can be set up either at account level or at um, campaign level but if you got a small account and there's not a lot of difference with regards to certain extensions are uh, relevant to certain campaigns then i would recommend that you set them up at the account level so all your extensions like uh, call extensions location uh, call outs structured snippets all of these i put them up at account level so then you don't need to worry about it once it's all done and set up and that's uh, pretty much pretty much it so we've got our um, campaign then under the campaign we have our ad groups again you can have one or many if you got lots of different services or products then i would not recommend that you put them all in in the same ad group you make them in a separate one under the ad groups we have your keywords um, your ads your negative keywords now negative keywords is something where you you can either have it at um, ad group level at campaign level or at account level what I mean by account level is there will be certain negatives which will apply to everything you are trying to promote or sell so the negatives if they are applicable to the whole account and to any campaign or every campaign you set up you make an account level negative list and what you do is you then apply to every campaign you are running as you get new search queries coming in and you find that these should be as negative keywords then what you do is you then go to your account level negative list and um, put them in now if you are running one campaign or 10 campaigns or multiple campaigns it really doesn't matter because you don't need to uh, keep adding these negative keywords to each and every account level everything you put in that list will be applied to all those um, uh, campaigns so now what we've got is we've got our structure over here so let's go a little bit more deeper into how we should uh, put the these ad group these keywords you want to make sure that you don't have lots of different types and kinds of keywords in the same ad group so one way of structuring your account is 
you can have a keyword in an ad group which is other keyword at exact match phrase or broad modified I usually and normally do not recommend that you use broad match keywords because they are too broad but even if you have got these three match types in an ad group uh, you're pretty much good to go so I've seen uh, a campaign structure where somebody has put in an ad group where they've got one uh, phrase match in, in an ad group another one with the same keyword as exact and another ad group as BMM now there's no such thing as the right way or the wrong way it really depends on how you um, structure your account so the way we structure our account is let me give you an example of let's say that's a bookkeeping is my keyword right so what we have got is we will have an ad group and the naming convention as I always say keep it consistent as well so you don't want to call it ad group as the name of that ad group because they will all look the same obviously so we would have the naming convention as bookkeeping or bookkeeper and then we call it exact so in this one we will have all the keywords whether it is let's say local bookkeeper local bookkeeping bookkeeping expert or something like that as exact match so you we may have multiple keywords in this ad group with the words bookkeeping in it then we will have another one which will be bookkeeping BMM this will only have one keyword plus book plus And that's it and this is how we structure our um, ad groups in our campaigns then all these exact match keywords in the exact match they go into the bookkeeping broad modified ad group as negative because we don't want the exact match search query to be triggered by this one we are sculpting the traffic into our exact match so every exact match keyword will be as a negative exact match in the BMM ad group so they these two ad groups work in pairs I know it might sound or feel like it's too complicated but this is kind of like sculpting the traffic to the right ad groups um, if you're fairly new and uh, you want to get started then what I would suggest is put all these three keywords match type in one ad group and get started and start to get the results and then keep an eye on them which keyword is giving you the the best results okay so this is how we would structure our account campaigns ad groups and the, the keywords and obviously each ad group will have its own um, ad so the ads for the bookkeeping exact and the bookkeeping BMM would pretty much be well they are the same because it's the same exact uh, keyword which we which we use